In this video, we are going to create a detail report. The detail report function is good for extracting reference data out of some systems, including chart of accounts, journal types, analysis codes, currency rates, or currency codes, for example. The detail report is also good for creating journal listing reports, as it does not do any aggregation on the data and extracts all the data exactly as it is stored in the database without any summary or aggregation. When creating reports, it's a good idea to leave a little space at the top of the report and to the left of the report so that we have some space for headings and our filter parameters. It is also often a good idea to start laying out the report before extracting the data onto the report so that we have a good idea of what the report should look like before we start building the query definition. In this example, we're going to create our chart of account listing report, and we're going to use our own formatting. So we are going to specify all the column headings that we would like to see on our report, including account code, account description, lookup code, account type, and status. Then to the left of the report, we're going to have some filter parameters, including a business unit, account from, and account to, account type, and status. Now that we've uh, laid out the report, place the cursor onto the spreadsheet where you would like the report to be extracted, and then click Detail Report. Specify the business units and the table. And in our case, we're gonna start off by just selecting all accounts and uh, not add filters just yet. We'll add those a little bit later. We're going to then add account code, description, lookup code, account type, and status. Now, by default, the um, auto formatting is applied. So on the report style tab, we would like to uncheck width because we want to control our own column widths. We also do not want to apply any formatting, so we're going to uncheck uh, auto formatting. We are using our own column headings, so we can uncheck output data item names. And since this is an account listing report, we do not need report totals, so we can uncheck totals. Click OK to extract the report. The account type and the status are extracted with a code rather than a description. So we would like to change that. And to do that, we need to change the extraction type of those items. So find the cell that contains the query definition formula and double click on it. Locate the account type and double click on it and change it from code to description and click OK. And do the same with status. Double click on it and change it from code to description and click OK. And then re-extract the report. We can now see that uh, the description is being output for both the status and the account type. I'm going to resize our columns here. And our report is now starting to take some shape. What we want to do now is to add the filter parameters onto the worksheet and then link them to the query definition. And we had already put in the uh, filter items that we wanted to filter on. And now we have to specify uh, default parameters so that we can link them to the query definition. So we're going to type in a business unit account from and to, account type, 
and status. If you are not sure what the default values are for the filter parameters, you can always type in all with uh, a back arrow and a forward arrow at the end, and then correct it later once you are inside the query definition. Now double click on the query definition to open it up. And we are now going to link the uh, filter items to the uh, parameters on this spreadsheet. So click on the business unit filter item and highlight the existing value and then simply single click on the um, business unit parameter on the spreadsheet. And you can see that the uh, filter from value is now highlighted in yellow and uh, set to C6. And uh, the filter value is actually shown here to the right of the filter. Do the same with account type. Click on it and then single click on the value and you'll see that uh, the value is brought back onto the query definition and now it's linked. And we're going to repeat it and do the same thing for account code. Single click and you notice how once I move the cursor into the two field the value from above is copied into the two value, simply highlight it and then click on the account two to map it to that value. So we now have C7 to C8. Click OK again to extract the report. And no data is found. And this is simply because our parameters are now working. And so we need to change those to get um, some data returned. So we're going to change this to all, simply extracting all account codes, but all balance sheet type account codes that are open. So to refresh our report, we do not need to go back into the query definition. We can simply click recalculate from the Info BNI Q&A tab. And we now see that the report is uh, re-extracted based on our filter parameters. What you can do now is, since the uh, filter parameters on the spreadsheet are linked to the query definition, you can double click on the cell to open up the lookup list for that filter item. So you can now change your selection from within here, select a range, and click OK. And you can see the formula is now brought back as a little bit differently than we had before. It is um, prefixed with the two back arrows to indicate a non-contiguous range of items. Let's double click again to go back in here again. And if we select a range, again, you can hold down the Shift key to select a range of items. And you can hold down the control key to select a non-contiguous range of items. And you can also use shift and control to further refine your selection. Now we're going to go back and select all account codes and we're going to change the account type. And again, by simply double clicking on the field to bring up the uh, lookup list for the account type, double click on profit and loss account type, recalculate to update our report. We are now ready to apply formatting to the report and we'll start off with the title. Apply some formatting to the column headings. And do the same for the filter parameters. 
gonna insert one more uh, column right here. And we'll continue with applying some additional formatting. We can also move the uh, filter criteria list, the filter parameters, without losing the linked cell reference to the query definition. We're also going to remove the grid lines from the report to give it a slightly cleaner look. And finally, we're going to link the status filter parameter to the query definition. So we need to simply locate this status field drag it into the uh, filter box, and then single click to link it. Click OK again, and the report will be output, including the status as a filter parameter. This shows how easy it is to create a detailed report using BI Q&A and incorporating some Excel formatting along the way.